After seeing my daughter in that picture wearing them shoes with Jose Canseco on the side that her mom tried to tell her was Jordan's, I felt like it was my duty to put out a little Michael Jordan shoe tutorial for other parents so they don't fall into the same trap. See, everything inside that red box is totally unacceptable. The only thing after the 17 you should be buying from Jordan is golf shoes because that's what the fuck he was doing. He wasn't playing basketball no more. First of all, the first three is the shoes he was making Kwame Brown wear. No wonder why he couldn't get active in the league. Inadequate footwear. Unless you're Puerto Rican, let's skip the six rings. These are not breads. These were bread with felas, trash money records. Now, what we have here is the low-cut lesbian 11.5s. Fake patent leather, nasty fishnet pantyhose siding, and that Javas Air Force One strap. These are usually re reserved for the members of the LGBT community to look like Rajon Rondo. If you ain't that, stay away. Your son said he wanted some Jordan 5s, not Jordans from 5 below. If you get him these, you're going to get him stuffed in the locker because bullying is real. Matter of fact, these are a staple in the Mexican community. They usually have the Dallas Cowboy colorway with a Dak Prescott jersey and some khaki cargo shorts talking about this is our year. These are fully in stock in any champs, finish line, or footlocker you go. These is the G League Jordans, the Summer League Sixes, if you will. These ain't Michael Jordans. These was made in Jordan. Matter of fact, that's him on the side. The year he got cut from his varsity team, these is trash.